Want to learn how to create a glitter brush for Procreate by combining two brushes that you can use in any background, lighter or darker ones? Look no further, in this tutorial I'm going to share with you how easy it is to do that. Hello there, Stephanie here from My Prince Collection, the place where I share with you the best ways for you to use the Procreate app so that you can make money online. This is one of the tutorials of my glitter series for Procreate. In my previous tutorial, I'll share with you how to create a glitter pattern texture from scratch that you can use and incorporate into any of your designs. If you haven't and would like to watch the previous tutorials, the link will be in the description below. Let's create a glitter brush for Procreate by combining two brushes that you can use in any background. Let's create our glitter brush. For that, I'm going to open the Procreate app and I'm going to use the texture that we've created in the previous tutorial. You can go back and watch how to create this pattern over here. So we are going to combine two brushes. It's a little bit different from the other tutorials. We are combining two brushes to create this brush. So first of all, um, I have my canvas over here. What I'm going to do is copy canvas. Now I'm going to go to my brushes and create, click on the plus sign to add a new brush. We are going to work on our first brush. So the spacing, I'm going to go with 5%. No, no, no. Stabilization, I'm going to change the amount to, uh, let's say, 50%. And the rest I'm going to leave as is. Taper. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to increase the size of this one to 50%, actually to the maximum and do the same over here. Turn on the classic taper and the opacity, I'm going to turn it to 33%. Now I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to click on the shape source and I'm going to use a shape from the library. I'm going to find it, it's this one called bleed. I'm going to select and click done. So we have the shape incorporated. I'm going to leave the other settings as is. I'm just going to click here in no, uh, no filtering. As to the grain source, we've copied our texture. So we are going to go to our textures, import and paste. So you can do this. Okay. We are going to leave it as this. Okay. So now we have our text over here. We are going to click on moving. The scale, I'm going to leave it at 30%. You can play around if you want a, a bigger chunks of glitter or less glitter. It's really up to you. Zoom, I'm going to put it at 78%. And then the rest, I'm going to leave as is. Now in rendering, I'm going to change the mode to intense bleeding, flow max. And now here, I'm going to leave the, the burn edge mode to multiply and I'm going to change the blend mode to add. Okay. Now as to the wet mix, I'm going to turn this off. We don't need it. Color dynamic, I'm not going to do anything as to speed. I'm going to change it to minus 44. To be precise, 44 minus. Okay. I'm going to leave the rest of the settings as is. Up, um, Apple Pencil, I'm going to change to 65 to give kind of that calligraphy effect. Opacity, I'm going to turn down. And I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to leave the remaining of the settings as is. So properties, material. So we are going to rename the brush to MPC um, glitter. Okay. And then you can also add your name here by Okay, and then we click on done. This is our first brush. Now we need our second brush, which will be the base. So I'm going to duplicate the one that we've created, go to my layers. And the only thing that you're going to change is we are going to go to grain, 
We are gonna go to edit, import, source library, choose blank and done. And then in the color dynamics, I'm gonna go over here to uh, color jitter, gonna pull the saturation, pull the darkness, color pressure, pull the saturation up, the brightness all the way down, saturation all the way up, brightness all the way down. So this is the only thing that we are gonna do and we are gonna change the name to base. Perfect, now we are gonna combine these two brushes. So by this one, I want it to be on top and this one um, below. So I'm gonna select this one, I'm gonna select this one and then swipe. Swipe like this and this selection, this option over here appears combined and we are gonna combine these two brushes. As you can see, you have the glitter on top and the glitter base at the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do is change the mode of how these two brushes uh, work together to linear height, linear height like this. And there you go, we've created the brush. Now let's test it out. I'm gonna add a back that background and now I'm gonna select a color and let's use our brush. And there you go, you've created a glitter brush and you can, as you can see, let me change the color to white to this one and see it still works with the darker and a light background because by combining the brushes, it will have this darkness to it. So it works on light and darker background. If you want to play around with the settings of this brush, so you can go here to the settings, change this to a color, to like this. And then what you can do on this first brush, you can increase the scale a little bit, like 40%. Let's see. And I don't want white, I want like you can see a little bit a little bit less glitter and you can also play around with the spacing so if you increase the spacing a little bit let's say seven percent it gives you a, a more diluted um glitter effect and there you go we've quickly created a glitter brush by combining two procreate brushes from scratch and we are done we have just created a glitter brush by combining two appropriate brushes that you can use for any background, even if it's a light or a darker one. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a glitter outline text effect that you can incorporate into your stickers or any project using the Procreate app. If you like glitter brushes, make sure to check out my full 3D glitter brush set or you can grab a sample of the set to give it a go. The links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and until the next tutorial, happy drills and illustrations.